If you cannot put your fanboyism on side and actually listen to somebody that is running a mid six figure business and going to explain why NVIDIA is able to do what they do with the market and charge people out the Belooza for their graphics cards, completely screwing people like you and me, then please do not leave a comment and click off of this video right now. I'm going to explain why NVIDIA is able to do what they do and why AMD cannot compete with NVIDIA. I hate NVIDIA. I want to make this abundantly clear, but it is going to sound like I am agreeing and on NVIDIA's side because I am explaining what they are doing from a psychological marketing aspect. What I said the other day about the Lamborghini versus the Corvette, how people are not able to grasp this is beyond my ability to understand. Listen, the reason I use those as examples, we have a $100,000 Corvette, or in other words, AMD's RX 9070 XT. People do not care about this, okay? It, is, it just exists. Then you have the $300,000 Lamborghini Huracan, okay? This is desirable. There's a reason people want this car. Before you go down into the comment section and lose your crap, listen, $300,000 Lamborghini Huracan, $15,000 Camry. If Lamborghini all of a sudden created a $15,000 car, the most unreliable car on the market, absolute turd bucket, gonna break within a year, garbage, trash, People are still going to buy this trash turd bucket of a car because it has the Lamborghini name stamped on it. You are going to leave a comment. No, I wouldn't. I would take the Camry because it's more reliable. You can go ahead and continue to lie about that stuff and you can continue to be a part of the problem that is allowing NVIDIA to dink everybody around, okay? But listen, most people would buy that unreliable piece of crap car because it has the Lamborghini name stamped on it. Or in other words, people are buying the Turd Bucket 5060, the Turd Bucket 5070, because NVIDIA has the 5080 and 5090. This is what I was trying to explain the other day. Because NVIDIA has the best product, because AMD cannot compete with NVIDIA, they are able to dink people around and manipulate the market because of the brand, because of the name, because of the logo, because they have the best product, okay? So there's a reason I have all these articles open. Are you going to ignore the fact that this is happening right now? These massive, huge, big YouTubers that you're listening to that are creating drama and know absolutely jack sh** all about running a business and how marketing actually works, how sales actually work, the psychological hacks and persuasion that companies actually use, like NVIDIA, okay? Why are people listening to those? We're in this situation. We're literally in it right now. As we speak, as I'm making this video, we are literally in a situation where we have a massive problem with the GPU market. So why are we going to continue to play this war of how AMD has a really great value graphics card? I'm not disagreeing that they have a graphics card that is better than the RTX 5070. That is absolutely correct. They do. They have the 9070 XT. It is a good value graphics card. But listen, 90% of the people that exist on this planet are not you and me. They do not understand the market or they do not understand AMD nvidia intel they just see everybody they just see that nvidia has the 5090 they just see that nvidia literally has 92 percent of the market they see nvidia as a company lamborghini i might actually disable con i'm not going to reply to everybody like i did on the other video so this right here you see these are facts man this is not my opinion this is not me trying to show you something or or talk about something that is not like existing. 8%. AMD just dropped to 8%. This is during June 5th. You see this right here? This is not like an outdated freaking article. June 5th. Okay. So then we come over here. This issue arises. We, we got people on Amazon sending people like freaking pastries for a graphics card. This is factual. Do you see this right here? This is literally macaroni. Macaroni GPU. All right. 
We come over here, a new report indicates Intel's latest Battlemates GPUs are a total failure and AMD's gaming graphics card market share ended up falling to 8%, but overall graphics card sales are up. AMD's desktop GPU market share hits all-time low despite the RX 9070 launch. NVIDIA extends its lead updated. Rising ASIC, collation, Jensen, whatever. So listen, I put this together right here. I literally put this together. So all the little jimmies that came here from Fortnite thinking I'm on AMD's graphics card, that is not what I'm doing, dude. I want AMD to win so that NVIDIA can stop like dinking everybody around, okay? No, I am not on NVIDIA's side at all whatsoever. So this is why NVIDIA is able to do what they do, man, all right? So NVIDIA versus AMD, the, re the reality of the GPU dominance in 2025, and this is why NVIDIA is able to do what they're able to do. One, all right, NVIDIA owns the high-end ground. We have the NVIDIA monopoly flywheel. We get the psychological hacks that NVIDIA uses. We have why AMD cannot win yet. I am totally on board with everybody that wants AMD to win, dude. I, I really don't understand how people are not able to sit down and watch a 10 minute video and then they go and click some other freaking drama channel that knows absolutely nothing about what they're talking about. From a business perspective, I'm not talking about all the tech nerds that know everything about everything and like to leave comments on how much they know about everything. I'm a tech nerd as well. Just so we're clear, that was not some sort of like offensive statement. I'm the nerdiest nerd on the planet. Is that not obvious that I'm a freaking nerd, dude? All right. So NVIDIA owns the high ground because they have the RTX 5090. No AMD card comes close to this dude. All right. So AMD's 9070 XT competes with NVIDIA's mid-tier graphics card, the RTX 5070 Ti. Okay. So to everybody that's saying, oh, the, the RX 9070 XT is, is only like the 5060 and the 5060 Ti. That's bull crap. Stop agreeing with everybody that you're seeing online, dude. I literally built computers, man. It's like I run a business. Okay, I've tested this. That is absolutely bull crap. <laughs> the fucking the 9070 XT performs like a 5070 Ti, but then you have the Nvidia brand, you have the Nvidia loyalty, you have the Nvidia reliability, reliability, you have the Nvidia benefits like for for video editing, for photo editing, for all these other creative applications, man. While AMD out here is good for gaming, or in other words, it is the Corvette OK, because people will say, oh, the, 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 the Corvette is is just as fast as the Lamborghini. So we're just, we're just going to ignore the fact that the Lamborghini has all kinds of carbon fiber. You're going to lose one percent of the Lamborghini's in cost when you go to sell it. You're just going to ignore every other benefit that the Lamborghini brand has because the Corvette can go as fast as the Lamborghini. What are you doing, dude? Like that is causing the problem. All right. So let's get back here. AMD, that them choosing to not have a graphics card that can compete with NVIDIA's high-end stuff is why we are in the situation that we are in right now, is why AMD's market share tanked, even despite the amount of comments of really genius humans that are just know everything about everything and like to create the problem that we're freaking in right now as I'm making this because they cannot be honest about the actual situation that we are literally in <laughs> and they want to play sides. Oh, I'm, I'm all team red. I just, I'm really team red. I just really only care about team red just because <laughs> I don't care about, I don't care about what's happening on the market. I don't care about anything. All right. I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to play team NVIDIA. I'm not trying to play team Intel. I'm not trying to play team AMD. I'm trying to explain to people that this is what nvidia is doing all right random video here i literally put dude i spent like 40 minutes making this for all the little jimmies hopefully this this is i really hope i just made you a little bit smarter little jimmy you came over here from fortnite bro i hope this is a, is increasing your your intellect level at least 0.1 percent all right I know that you don't, I know that you want to be stuck in a nine to five and just be brainwashed to do things that you do not want to do for the rest of your life and run on autopilot. But some of us actually understand how to break free from the system. Some of us don't live on autopilot from being brainwashed from the education system and the government. Some of us actually know how to live life 
and be a human being not running on autopilot. You are a perfect example of a robot, little Jimmy. So continue to go play Fortnite. And just so we're clear, I like Fortnite as well. I have nothing against the game. If it's not obvious, I'm joking. You genius. <laughs> so really, is the comments have really been getting to me, man, because it's just, it's breaking my heart that people that like actually care about what's happening right now are literally creating the problem because they cannot be honest about the literal situation that we are in. Let's go to the $3 million Bugatti. There we go. Here's an even better example because price does not matter. We have the $3 million Bugatti right way up here. Here we go, right? Let's remove the price. $3 million car right here, $15,000 car. Which one are you gonna take? You're going to, which one are you going to take? Go ahead and leave the comment. Oh, I take the camera. Go ahead. Leave that comment, you genius. So if Bugatti up here, the company, okay, this company up here, or in other words, NVIDIA, the, the company that is so far above and ahead, everybody else, okay, if, if they made this little turd bucket car, unreliable piece of crap, the 5060, okay, okay. Or then we come over here with the Camry, the, the, the 9070 XT. AMD's literally their best graphics card right now, man. Which one do you think people are going to continue? Or which one do you think people are going to buy? Do you think they're just going to ignore the, 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 the new $15,000 Bugatti? The $3 million car that just seemingly created some piece of crap car at a affordable price for you does this does that make sense i just went to the most extreme of the most obnoxious extreme in history this is what i was trying to explain to people man this is why nvidia is able to do what they do is because of the psychological impact that the company has they are so far above and ahead of everybody else, which the market is proof of this, and AMD not being able to compete with the company. Yes, they are able to compete with the 5070. Yes, they are able to compete with the 5070 Ti. Yes, it is more affordable for gamers. 100% on board with you there. But because NVIDIA has the best product, the 5080 and the 5090, people want an NVIDIA graphics card. So unless AMD can, can create something that can actually somewhat compete with those, nothing is going to change. The 5060, man, if I build a computer, <laughs> if I build a computer with a 9070 XT, full-blown computer, really think about this, and it only cost $1,000, and I build a piece of crap computer with a 50 or well, uh, the same computer, but with a piece of crap 5060. And I charge $2,000. People are going to buy the NVIDIA PC because of the NVIDIA name, because of the NVIDIA brand, because they have the 5090 and the 5080. Do you see this? Anybody that anybody else watching this that builds computers and sells them is 100% on board and agreeing with me right now. This AMD PC will take six months to a year to sell unless it's one of the little Jimmies that can't afford anything and just want to play Fortnite. And joking there for people that can't tell or have no, no ability to grasp what sarcasm is, okay? You get my point. People that are just looking for a little entry level computer agree dude but that's such a fraction of the market because these little these little jimmies that can't afford anything they're buying a nintendo switch they're buying a playstation 5 they're buying an xbox they're not freaking looking to get into the pc market yet dude <laughs> so it's just such a small so small percentage of the market okay then you have like the rest of everything in the computer space which is dominated by intel and nvidia 
if that I, I'm going to end this because if that doesn't make sense and no, there's no other way that I can go, I can go about explaining this. I'm the only reason I'm even like doing this dude is because I, I, I'm that freaking video from the other day, this video right here, dude. I'm just like, it just, it's, it's blowing me away. This is the, I've never had a video disliked to this extent.